over on Technoland and here today I'll be taking a look at the Neuer V2370 slider. So this unique slider by Neuer provides a whole lot of movement for a small compact size and allows you to easily carry it around whilst getting that nice bit of travel on your videos. So on the top of the slider you will find your tripod screw threads. You can either utilise the quarter inch thread or the three eight inch thread depending on what size your camera or tripod head uses. Furthermore, on the top of the unit you've got two rubber pads to protect your slider from your tripod or camera head, and you've also got a bubble level as well. On the front side of the slider you've got the Neuer V2370 logo, and you've also got a little knob which can adjust the friction of the slider itself to adjust whether it moves more freely or less freely. You've also got various access points to get into your slider or adjust the tension or anything like that using the allen key provided. So on the other side there's not much happening whatsoever, you've just got more access for the allen key there as well. However if you flip it over to the bottom you can see you've got a lot more going on down here. You've got the quarter inch thread and three eighths inch thread to attach it to a tripod. You've also got four feet on the each corner of the slider so you can actually use this while it's on the ground as well if you don't want to use it on a tripod. You can adjust the height of these by screwing and then screwing them into the slider. Again you've got various access points around for your allen key and you've also got the rope itself which makes this slider work. So when it comes to mounting your slider onto your tripod there's many different options you can choose from. The first is directly mounting the slider onto the tripod head itself. This doesn't give much movement and flexibility with the slider however it does provide a simple solution. So as you can see it's nicely firmly plated on there. However the second option you can utilise is using a ball head or a video head. You can attach the quick release plate to the bottom of the slider allowing you to easily snap on and snap off your slider from your fixed tripod. Now on to mounting the camera. Again you can use a ball head which you can easily attach a camera onto using the quick release plate or alternatively you can attach a video pan head onto the top of the slider too. So this slider from Noya is designed to help you create more innovative and more creative videos. It certainly does this by providing this nice horizontal movement to give an extra dimension to your videos. You can see it creates a very nice and smooth movement and it fits in really nicely with my camera equipment as well. The unique movement of this slider allows it to move almost 20 inches on a tripod and 10 inches on the ground which is significantly more than sliders of the same size. And furthermore, after I filmed this video, I actually attached the slider onto a ball head on the bottom and it allowed me to put it in an almost vertical mode, which allowed me to create some unique shots including this one, which again adds another aspect to your videos. One thing I'd highly recommend is a sturdy tripod to put the slider on. One of my favourites is the Ulta Pro 263 AT by Vanguard, it's a very nice and sturdy tripod and I've just reviewed it on my channel if you want to check that video out but then it provides a more stable video look and also reduces the amount of wobble on your videos if you're using a uh, non-image non stabilization lens which I am using on the camera which I'm shooting on now. As you can see it's a very nice smooth motion and you've also got a knob underneath to adjust, adjust the friction to how much you want the slider to move and how easily it is for you to move that. So it comes in a very nice little travel case as well, so it's a very portable device. If, you take, if you're going to wedding shoots or something like that, you can easily carry this around with you and it's got a nice little handle as well. So you can just attach it to your backpack or even pop it in at a time. So here are a few examples of videos that I shot using this slider. You can see it provides a nice smooth motion. I haven't quite mastered it yet, but I will do over the time and as you'll see in more of my future videos, I will have a lot more perfected technique with this slider. But thanks for watching this video everyone, I'd highly recommend it. If you want to check that out, that link will be in the description below. But for now, thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe for some more videos.